What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Wednesday, April 13th, 2022, about 6.35 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 4.0 earthquake and also a 3.3 up here into Northern California. 4.0 down South America, a 3.3 off the coast of Oregon. Let's go ahead and check out this latest movement here. On the USGS map, stand by for a quick second. We're just multicasting right now on a couple different platforms. So stand by while I click uh, these up here real quick. There we go. Looks good, right? Looks good. Uh, we don't need any bells in the background. So stand by for just a second while we get this set up. There we go. So 3.3 earthquake off the coast of Oregon into kind of out there north of the Gorda Ridges. It is kind of out there in the basin a little bit. Uh, about 10 kilometers below surface and 3.3 uh, is the magnitude for that earthquake uh, also we had that earthquake down here in the south america region not showing up yet on the usgs map but the emsc models were picking it up there on the earthquake 3d globe we'll go ahead and check out the european uh, earthquake agency real quick here and uh somewhere in the mix there is where we've seen that uh, earthquake that four point Oh, that struck down there in the South America region. Somewhere in that mix of stuff. Uh, looking at the rest of the world here. Well, it has still remained relatively quiet here along the western part of the North American plate. Although, things could be changing here. Things tend to be uh, kind of lightened up here out here around the California area. And now even more so with that 3.3 off the coast. Just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone seen quite a few earthquakes here along the southern california coastline up and down the board here uh just outside of this fault system here the oceanic fault zone seen uh, some microquake a 2.0 near templeton and also further south down here uh a 1.1 near the montecito area of california not uh for certain which fault systems this uh this this earthquake struck on but there's definitely faults in here uh, just not showing up here on the USGS map. Uh, some movement down here also south along the Elsinore Fault System, just off there, a 0.5 near Warner Springs. This one's pretty deep, though, about 12 kilometers uh, below the surface. So activity is indeed kind of picking up out here along the west coast. So we can't really say it's quiet too much right now. But then again, um, we'll just have to see what happens. One earthquake out here outside of Medford. A 1.6 near Jacksonville, Oregon at 6.7 kilometers. Pretty pretty shallow earthquake here in terms of uh, the that specific activity in that region. I want to check out the seismograph trimmer map here tonight along the Cascadia. And once again, nothing being reported here. And I, I just, I don't know. I find it hard to believe that there hasn't been any trimmer uh, in the last couple days here. We went from a a sufficient amount of trimmer to absolutely none let's go ahead and check out the last month of movement uh, of course back in the about the 19th of uh, march we've seen a major uptick in trimmer activity peaked out around uh, almost a thousand trimmers in one day around the 27th of march and then we have been on a slow decline here and then it has just completely dropped off. I, I, I don't know. I, you know. It looks somewhat normal, right? If you look at the trend from the beginning to the end. But it's hard to say, you know. And it, I don't know. Unless I'm running the equipment myself. I don't know for sure if that's 100% accurate in terms of uh, no trimmer along the Cascadia. I see this back building of pressure here. And that kind of leads me to believe that there may be uh, some trimmer activity taking place. Not on the map. Uh, Oregon, Washington, a little bit of movement up here outside of Mount Rainier and west of Mount St. Helens. Nothing significant. A couple small microquakes. A one earthquake out here around the uh, Strait of Juan de Fuca with a 1.9. This one's pretty deep. This is definitely a northern end Cascadia subduction zone earthquake at 29 kilometers. And uh, that's about the only one showing up there for that region. Rest of the country. Uh, some movement around the Intermountain West area. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview real quick. As we did see some movement ramp up here earlier this morning and also this afternoon. 
Seen a good amount of earthquake activity throughout the northwestern corner of the park at Yellowstone, Wyoming. Not Montana, Yellowstone, Wyoming. And uh, it's just kind of microquake activity kicking up here in the area of uh, the northwestern part of the park. Uh, the rest of the area looks pretty, uh, well, except for the promontory. We're still seeing some movement up here. But then again, it uh, looks like that may be weather related. There is some uh, low pressure systems coming down there creating some wind throughout the area. And that's kind of what it looks like. Those don't really look like specific earthquake activity there on that seismograph. Uh, Texas, a little bit of movement there. Nothing specific going on throughout the center part of the country or the eastern part. Puerto Rico has been somewhat quiet. A little bit of movement up here around the Puerto Rico Trench. Just a couple twos and some microquakes in that area. Uh, of course, we had that four-pointer being reported on the EMSC model here in the South America region. The USGS hasn't picked up on it yet, but I've uh, seen a couple fours throughout the day here centered around the central portion of the Peru Chile Trench. And a little bit of activity out here on along the southern uh, East Pacific rise here near uh, Easter Island, 4.9 at 10 kilometers. Uh, what's going on out here in the middle of the Pacific? Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look here with the latest quake up on top of Mount Loa or the uh, Mauna Loa area. 1.9 earthquake, pretty shallow, negative 2.8, negative 2.8. So you got to remember the terrain out here the, and the elevation adjustment so this is very shallow earthquake activity right smack dab at the summit or the uh, uh the very top of the mono loa area for that 1.9 and another one down here in the crater area uh, that one as well pretty shallow 1.6 or negative 1.6 for a 2.1 uh, southeast region here still seeing some swarming here very typical 32 to 34 kilometer depth for those earthquakes uh, no major adjustments or movement going on there from the hvo Hawaiian Volcan uh, Volcano Observatory when it, when it comes to terms of uh, volcanic activity. Uh, Taiwan, a little bit of movement northeast of there in the Japan region, 5.0. That one uh, striking at, uh, let's see, 0 0.15 uh, UTC time. So a couple hours ago when that 5.0 struck uh, and some further movement behind that in the four range. A little bit of activity stretching through the uh, southern end of the Java Trench throughout the Indonesia area. Um, still no major adjustment here through the Kermadec Trench. Still watching this area pretty closely, folks. Looking at uh, a lot of areas built up and uh, some deeper movement here in the Fiji Islands last week. Or uh, earlier this week, I should say. Um, and uh, no subsequent movement here along the Kermadec Trench or New Zealand except for a 4.8. So watching that area pretty closely for some further development. Uh, I did see Albania, right? Uh, where's that earthquake I seen in Albania? Because we've we seen one come in. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, EMSC model once again here. USGS, I don't know. They just don't. They don't go with the flow, far as being transparent and uh, sufficient in doing their duties. It just doesn't happen. Uh, let's see here. 4.5, maybe. Uh, let me zoom in up here a little bit and see if we can find that earthquake. I guess where it was a lower grade four pointer that struck around the Albania area. But man, I'm not seeing that thing pop up. So these guys, who knows? Maybe it been, maybe it was an error popping up there on the earthquake app. Uh, either way, a 4.8 in the Greece area around the Mediterranean Sea, just south of Crete, 46.3 kilometers. Uh, below surface that one happening earlier this afternoon uh, let's go ahead and check out earthquakes canada map here along the western portion of the north american and pacific plate boundary of course this activity from earlier along the northern end of the cascadia subduction zone no further subsequent movement in this region just those earthquakes there happening earlier this morning uh, we got one earthquake up here way up in the purple circle it looks like around the dawson creek bc area 2.3 at uh, 5 kilometers below surface. Other than that, not a whole lot going on aside from the movement off the coast there. Uh, the Vancouver Island ranges looking at the solar weather report tonight. We're expecting a, uh, an increase, right? And the geomagnetic storming. We're expecting a G2 class storm coming in. Looking at the probabilities here on the KP index here. Got to remember the UTC time, right? 06, 612. 
right now it is currently let me check the utc time we are at uh 0145 utc time 0145 utc time on the 14th so that's going to be within this area we have not reached the kp index here that they are expecting so here in about uh four to five hours we should see the kp index ramp up here to the g2 class storm uh, is that that's what these guys are calling here uh for the predictions right they've been wrong in past couple events they forecast stuff nothing happens they don't they don't forecast stuff stuff happens kind of odd i mean i think uh weather forecasting is a little bit more accurate than uh, trying to predict the space weather events lately so we'll see what plays out um, and see what the time frame is right now kp indexo pretty low looking at the current uh density we are seeing a little bit of density spike here see that little spike on the orange the speed still remains really low um so we'll see how this takes part here bt and the bz zone starting to shift south a little bit once again and that could open up some uh, conditions here from for some uh, storming We'll have to watch this pretty closely. You can see the uh, amplification here of the aurora at the higher latitudes. And KP index currently around the 2 range. But uh, G2 class storm possible tonight. We'll see how it plays out, folks. Uh, solar, uh, at least sunspot activity, pretty minimal. Only a 15% chance of any type of sea flare. Uh, watching these sunspots up here, 2989, 2990 for potential uh, activity in the coming days and new development out here around the western uh, region or this would be actually the eastern region i think western I, I don't know somewhere around there on the eastern side it will be facing towards us here in the coming days and we'll see what this provides us with the uh with the further sunspot activity folks see how it goes see how it plays out uh let's see what else do we have to cover out here anything specific space weather i don't think there's anything more the geomagnetic storm watch g2 class storm um are possible when the cme arrives midday on april 14th during such storms auroras can uh, be seen as far south as new york and idaho latitude of 55 degrees so we'll see how this plays out once again here so Alrighty, guys, I am going to jump off here. I was watching a little bit of seismic activity show up here on the uh, live seismographs. Let me uh, pop this one off here, too. Um, looks like Barrett, California. That's going to be that station right there. Showing a little bit of seismic activity there on the localized Southern California graph. But... Uh, not a big one, just a little little uh, microquake down there in Southern California. Could be a sign of some uh, ramping up for sure along the North American plate. That includes a good portion, of course, of California, the western coast, right? And uh, we'll, we'll definitely see how this plays out, folks. A little increase in solar weather tonight could spell a, a little increase in uh, earthquake weather. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Take care.